Ready. Hi, this is John Spear with Creo Quality, and I'm visiting Brooke Duram at Tomato Fish Marketing today in Indianapolis. Uh, you should stop by and visit sometime, and, and also uh, be sure to look her up on the web at tomatofishmktg.com, all one word. Um, the reason I'm, I want to talk to you a little bit today is I had a meeting with a, a friend recently who's newer to the medical device industry, and I was trying to explain the the FDA process for getting device approval. Uh, as you might know, FDA has three um, classifications for medical devices, class one, class two, class three. Class one, really simple products, things like tongue depressors. Class three are permanent, uh, usually permanent implants or, or higher risk products. The majority of medical devices fit into uh, the class two category. And the way you get FDA clearance for those products is a submission called a 510K. 510K, uh, what you need to do is demonstrate that your product is substantially equivalent to a product that's already on the market. How do you do that, you might say? Well, as I was explaining this to my friend, uh, I used condiments. I said, let's, let's imagine that you're mustard and that um, you're a medical device, class two, and you're already on the market. You know, mustard goes great on hot dogs, sandwiches of, of all kinds. Um, but, but here I am, I'm developing a new product, and my new product is called ketchup. So how do I get ketchup on the market? Uh, ketchup is clearly much better uh, than mustard. It's much more versatile. It can be used on french fries, hamburgers, in addition to hot dogs. Um, and it's used as a base ingredient for a lot of sauces and, and so on and so forth. So clearly ketchup is better than mustard. But if I'm too novel, too unique, it's tough to get to the, to the market through the FDA process through a, a 510K. So I have to be able to show that ketchup is substantially equivalent to mustard. Well, they're both condiments. They're both in plastic containers. And, and they're both used uh, on, on hamburgers, hot dogs, things of that nature. So I'm demonstrating that my ketchup is substantially equivalent to, my, to this mustard, this competitive product out there. But it gets tr a little tricky. If you want to advertise or market uh, the, the additional benefits that, that ketchup might have, you need to make sure you have 510K clearance. So it's a little bit of a slippery slope sometimes, but remember, you need to compare your product to something that's already on the market and be able to show substantial equivalence. So that's a little bit about the 510K process.